Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and we have a fun project for you to make out of a tea towel. We have this little tea towel here and we are going to turn it into this darling apron right here. So let's go over to the cutting table and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, the first thing we need to do with making our tea towel apron is to pick a tea towel. There are all kinds of choices available to us. There are even these darling vintage ones with the stripes on either side. Some of them are even multi-striped. Aren't, the, aren't those cute? Make a really cute apron. So for this demonstration, we are going to use the yellow, uh, the yellow tea towel because it'll be bright and sunny, cheery, good for your kitchen. Now the first thing you're going to do is take it over to your ironing board and iron it directly in half lengthwise. So you have a nice crisp ironed seam right here. Then you're going to open that up and you're going to make sure that your tag is up here at the top. Now from the center front we are going to measure out four inches on either side and mark it with a pin. So we've got our four inch line there and we've got our four inch line here. Now you take it from the side and you're going to go down 10 inches on the side and put a mark. On both sides. There we go. Now we're going to take this corner right here and this is the corner that we're going to press over and this will give our apron that apron shape that we want. So what we want to do is we want to press this um, with the iron and make a good crisp crease on that. Alright, let's go to the ironing board. Okay, so now we have a nice crease on here. Do a both sides to your marks. There we go. And then we go back over here. Now for this we're going to want to take the pins out because we have our, our nice crease pressed in. We'll open this up and you can see that crease right there. What we're going to do is we are going to lay the ruler so that it overlaps that crease about an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter, and we're going to cut that part off. Alright, so here we go with that. Alright, so we have this little corner that we've removed and you can see there we still have a, a, a nice crease there. What we're going to do is we're going to iron this under a quarter of an inch just like this and then this will be folded over and we will top stitch that. That makes the casing for our ties to go through. So let's go ahead and we're going to cut the other side and then we're going to iron this edge down so that we can stitch it. Side. As rotary cutters will go through anything. All right, here we go over to the ironing board. All right, now very carefully, you just lay that edge over. Just eyeball it a quarter of an inch, so that you can uh, fold that over, so you have no raw edges. And then we're going to fold that over. And that gives us a nice little casing. If you have trouble folding that quarter of an inch under, you can make this um, make this fold this cut a little deeper. I'm going to go ahead and do it on this side. Also, be careful because you're working with the bias on here, and so that can stretch a little bit. Um, I do know that if you use the uh, the spray starch on it, it helps eliminate that stretch on that edge. Okay, so we've got that down. Now let's head over and sew down this edge to make our casing. Okay, so we're sewing along here, just catching that edge. It's all turned under, no raw edges, and we are making a casing for our strap. You want to remember to back stitch because this is an end that you don't want to pull out. And we'll go right over here to the other side. Remember, this is folded, this is ironed under, and we're turning it over. And we'll start right here at the edge. And we're going to back stitch, and then we'll come forward. You just don't want those ends to pull loose. And we're stitching right along the edge of that. There we go, and we'll back stitch again. Okay. Oops. Now 
here's here's our uh, our finished line, nice and smooth. And let's go back over to the cutting table. Okay, now we're going to cut our straps. Actually, this is the part of the fun part because you get to choose a fun fabric that'll coordinate with your towel. This this is fun because um, you just never know what you can put all kinds of things on here, and it's just going to make it really cute. You'll I think you'll really enjoy this. So we're going to cut some three inch strips, the width of the fabric for our straps. Otherwise, you you could use a um, fat quarter for the pocket if you used some straps like um a twill tape or something like that, but if you're going to cut your straps out of your fabric, you need to have a width of the fabric. And three makes a nice long tie. Um, if you're really little, you only need to have um, two straps, but I'm a three strap girl myself. So we're going to go over here and we're going to cut a piece that's eight inches by sixteen. So it's the width of a fat quarter. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is going to make your pocket. We'll cut it here. We're going to cut it at the fold. And this is going to make us um, a pocket that's the width of the towel. It's probably a little bit longer. I'm going to trim down those, uh, trim those salvage edges off. Let's see how long this is. And just trim that in a little bit like that. And then we need to measure the bottom of our towel to make sure that it's not too wide for that. Because we're going to make a pocket go across. See, that's a little bit wide, so we're going to cut it in just a little bit. I think it should measure, let me check this out, but I think it should measure about 16 inches. Actually, this, this measures 20 inches, so your pocket, if your pocket is about 16, that would be a good measurement. Yeah, see, that's going to be good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to sew a quarter of an inch all the way around the outside of this and leave a little opening so that we can turn it, because that's going to make our pocket for this apron. So now we'll go over to the sewing machine and we'll do that. Make sure your fabrics are right sides together, and then you're just going to sew a, a quarter of an inch all the way around. And then when you get down here onto the bottom part of your um, pocket, just kind of stop and move about forward about four inches. Oops. Make sure your fabrics stay lined up. And start again. That's, that leaves you a place for turning. all the way across the top. Now before we turn, I like to clip my corners to leave, make less bulk. So I'm just going to clip these corners off like this. And then I'm going to clip these two strings that are in between my pocket, or my opening, I mean. And then we'll just flip it around. And poke it out as best as you can with your fingers. We have some great little tools here called the purple thing that we use a lot for that. I'm going to use my scissor right this moment not generally advisable, but if you're really careful, you can do it. There we go. See how sharp those corners look. You can also pull them out with a pin if you're really careful. You just don't want to snag your fabric. All right, now we're going to go over to the ironing board and we're going to press this flat and we're going to fold up this, this little seam right here and press that down so that when we top stitch it, we'll just top stitch that right to the thing and we won't have to do any handwork on that. So let's go over and iron this. Okay, so now we want to fold this up. Make sure this seam is stays pretty straight in there and we're going to iron that down. 
iron the top piece over it then it'll just lay on there so nice and you won't know that there's a little hole in there okay now the next thing we need to do is top stitch a couple of rows across the top this is mostly just for looks and we're going to do that before we attach this to the apron